What's up guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. I am looking at an Aslan beer, guys. This is the Baby Shark IPA, 5.5% alcohol. This is brand new to my distribution in Northern Michigan from M4, and I'm excited to have this one, guys. I've heard of a lot of good beers from Aslan Beer Co. Uh, these guys are out of Virginia, I believe. Uh, let me check the side, and we have Alexandria, Virginia, and Herndon, Virginia, so I think they have two different locations or tap rooms. Um, but super excited to try this. I've never had any beer from them, so if you check that out, that is just literally a beer called Baby Shark, which I think is super cool. I mean, look at the packaging there, guys. It comes in a four-pack, obviously 16-ounce cans. I uh, can't really remember the price point on this one. I want to say it's between 10 and... $12 for a four pack, but don't quote me on that. So let's check it out. There is no canned on date that I'm aware of, even though on the side they tell you to drink it or store at 35 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit, keep cold, drink fresh. Well, we're hoping it's fresh because we don't have a canned on date. So let's see what we're working with, guys. Again, I've never had any beer from these guys, so super excited to try this. And I really like that it's that lower ABV range. You have so many blow your mouth out IPAs um, that it gets tiring, you know. So it's it's nice to see this, and this is quite hazy. I did not expect this. I thought this was going to be more of a Midwest IPA or uh, West Coast IPA for some reason. Baby Shark just made me think that way. So we have a very golden, light yellow, uh, hazy New England style beer, guys. That it's just it's not oily or thick when I poured it, but it's a lighter medium body to it so that was just my uh, appearance right off the jump uh, nice sudsy foamy head that seems to be dissipating as I'm speaking guys it's very uh, bubbly but again dissipating at a quick rate here but still crazy good carbonation streaming to the top I mean tons of carbonation uh, more than I expected as well so that head is still hanging on guys but dissipating in a moderate fashion so let's go to an aroma Oh wow, that smells like a bigger IPA. It smells um, just like it's dry hopped. It smells like it's bright and, and bubbly. I don't think it says it's dry hopped, but just says IPA, but it smells like it's going to be a big New England style beer. Like it's going to be to that seven to 8% alcohol range, but still light as we can read. Kind of resiny, dank quality, very bright citrus, kind of peachy, um, tangerine slash grapefruity. Yeah, there, there is like this uh, stone fruit quality as well. So I, I always say there's a lot of peachy in, in beers, but I, I just, I do get it quite frequently, guys. So I do see like an underlying sweet, juicy peach in this beer underneath. Kind of grainy. Cereal-like, kind of crackery malt. Still bright, but very light and, and easy going on the nose, guys. Let's go to a cheers. This is the Baby Shark from Aslan. Hope I'm saying that right. Going for another sip here. Let the mouth adjust. Nice, kind of smooth, almost like Oberon mouthfeel, in my opinion. Uh, just kind of weedy, the way it's kind of uh, smoothed over, if you will. So it's got that kind of slight quality to it, like a wheat beer. Um, again, there's kind of this bright citrus thing. There's a little bit of this lemon peel, a little bit of this uh, grapefruit juiciness, grapefruit skin, um, tangerine pithiness. Uh, and again, I'm still getting like that juicy kind of underlying peach thing. Um, sitting underneath this beer, it's very nice and enjoyable underneath there. I, I really like the juicy quality mixing with the pithy, oily kind of grainy quality as well. Drinks like it's going to be a big beer. There's a little bit of this dank resiny thing. Um, a slight bit of bitterness on the back end. <clears throat> Uh, again, I get more grapefruit and lemon zesty peel on the back end that's kind of a uh, slight bit of bitterness, kind of all blended together there. Um, 
It's good. This is a very good beer. It's it's something that is the the baby brother of the big New England styles. You know, it's something that's a little bit lighter, uh, not so sweet. It's a little bit on the drier end, which I like on the back end. It delivers this um, citrus quality. It delivers a little bit of the stone peachy thing, but you're also getting a little bit of that dank resiny quality that brings that IPA out, guys. Um, super easy drinking here at 5.5. A little bit dumbed down, a little bit watery. Um, when you get this beer by looking at it and smelling it, you look for a little bit more substance in this. 5.5%, that's why not as much malt driven in here. Maybe the hops um, not are not as abundant as maybe a typical high caliber New England style. It's not supposed to be that. So it uh, comes, comes off a little watery, a little bit dumbed down, if you will, not insulting Aslan. I just think the beer comes across less than what you might expect by looking at it if you didn't know the ABV. Overall enjoyable, very crushable. Um, nice blend of flavors all the way through. So rating, I think I'm going to put this at a 3.8 out of 5, guys. Not mind-blowing, not mind-boggling, but very good drinkability, very good citrus qualities. Uh, nice qualities coming out on the New England end. Slight bit of the Midwest to uh, West Coast coming out. Slight bitterness, dryness, a little bit of floral maybe in there on the back end. Uh, but really, a New England IPA, if you will. So I'm going to go 3.8 out of 5. This has been my first beer review from Aslan. This is the Baby Shark Review, guys. Thanks for joining me. Please hit that subscribe button. Click that like button. Helps with the algorithm. I'm Dan. I'm over and out. It's been another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. Cheers.